Hello everybody, my name is Dratnos, and in today's video we're going to take a look at the upcoming Plunderstorm mode, which is the main feature of patch 10.2.6. So, um, first of all, lots of spoilers in this video. Um, second of all, probably best to go and watch the official video, the WoWcast official video uh, first. I'll put a link in the description below if you haven't seen it. I'm sure you already have, uh, or at least it's been recommended higher than this video. If not, then something has gone very right for me. Um, but the TLDR of it is that it's a 60 player battle royale mode that you queue into with a new character basically each time. So you don't have any existing character. It doesn't matter how good your main account is. You could create a fresh account, new subscription and be on even playing field with everybody else. Um, there's only cosmetic rewards as well from this for your main account and for retail. Uh, not for classic, I don't think. But if you only play classic, you could still play this. And basically, you drop in either solo or duo. So you're either queued with somebody or by yourself. And then you're level one and you kill monsters slash fight players and collect abilities and items. So uh, kind of the whole idea of like, wow, classes is being challenged here with you know collecting different abilities and uh different rarities of abilities as you're kind of going out here a storm closes in like it does in all battle royales pretty much and uh you know you fight to be the last person standing um becoming more powerful as much as you can along the way so that you can win that that last fight and um i think it sounds pretty exciting so they've done a lot of stuff that they talk about in this video uh to kind of change up usual gameplay there's a lot of like uh different abilities than usual and also you can like double jump everybody can double jump there's no fall damage uh you your auto attack even is different you you don't have like a auto attack you have a button you press that does your like default attack uh if you want and yeah it's kind of wild how much the game is being adjusted here like there's this is a mode with no add-ons as well no ui modifications um you load in and you know basically you just get the you, that isn't even a way that you know more enfranchised players will be advantaged compared to newer players so um the goal as well is 10 to 15 minute long matches which is pretty sick um very kind of sped up version of battle royale in a lot of ways here, I'm reminded of just Blizzard in general. Like, they, they've they sort of taken genres that have done well, like trading card games with Hearthstone, auto battlers with Hearthstone Battlegrounds, um, MOBAs with Heroes of the Storm, and they've done this thing where they're like, okay, why does this need to be 30 minutes? Let's make it 10. And uh, I think that's sort of what their thought process was with the Battle Royale genre as well. Now, there is... Let's see. Uh, rewards for this are like mounts, mog. There is an eye patch and a tabard that you can get for winning uh, one, but I think you only have to win one to get both of those. And uh, other than that, it's just a renown track that you progress by playing and you can get all this stuff on it without ever winning, uh, except for potentially that eye patch and tabard. So uh, pretty cool. And uh, there's, yeah, no add on support. You can either play solo or duo. It's probably going to last about six weeks, several several mentions of a six week time frame in these interviews that they've done uh, with like PC Gamer here. So uh, that is pretty good um, to a, pr a pretty good length for this. I let's shift now to, I guess, kind of opinions rather than explaining what's going on. Um, I think that there is a very, very cool seed of an idea here. I think if this plays well, uh, this could be one of the coolest things I've added to WoW in a long time. I think that there are kind of two different sides of criticism that exist for this. One is coming from this place of like, you're comparing this to what we otherwise would have gotten and you're looking at this and you're being like, okay, it was this or a raid tier and I want the raid tier. And to some extent, I empathize with that. I love raid tiers. You know, new raid tier coming out is uh, extremely big for me, you know, and kind of not just for work, but uh, I get to go do Race to World first, one of my favorite things. Uh, I get to progress with my guild, one of my favorite things. So I do understand that. Um, I think, though, that if you're looking at this in a vacuum, like if you're not thinking, 
oh, what did they do, do this instead of doing? Uh, I think that this is a really cool thing to develop. Like, maybe maybe BRs are, you know, maybe it's a little bit late to, to get into the Battle Royale game, sure. Maybe it's, uh, it's five years later than the craze or whatever, but... Um, I'm reminded of Path of Exile did a Battle Royale mode a couple of years ago that um, that game, just like WoW, has a rich set of pretty cool, you know, thought out low level content that a lot of players just zoom past and never really engage with too much, except for like once a once a season. And uh, the BR mode really kind of let that part of the game shine. And I think we've seen with like Season of Discovery as well, you know, the idea of low level but sort of customizable class content is really appealing to a lot of players now season of discovery did that on the classic skeleton of sluggish as hell you know you're moving around there's you, you know there's no double jump there's none of that stuff but you're uh you're sitting there you're killing stuff your man is an issue right all, all the kind of stuff about classic where it's like oh this is awkward this is basically that same idea but in retail right you're starting at level one and then you have like all these different abilities and customizations and stuff that you're going to be uh, quickly grabbing and you know slapping together on your character, uh, but it's on that retail engine instead. That in and of itself, I think, is really exciting. Um, separate from the whole battle royale mode, I think battle royale is a good way to make that work though, because that justifies doing you know that that process over and over again. Um, I think that you know like there are other game styles you could do that with like like a roguelike or whatever uh could could fit in that as well although they kind of already tried roguelike with torgast and uh, it didn't work out great which does i think bring us to the drawbacks of this which is there's a decent chance that this is one of those ideas that sounds better than it plays that does happen uh, in fact it would be the second time in five years that we visited arathi highlands for a mini game that a lot of people were hyped for that might end up sucking, right? That that has literally exactly happened uh, with with the Warfront system. So um, I would say, you know, a lot obviously is going to depend on how this plays, which we'll figure out later today when the servers come up. But uh, in terms of the, the concept, I think there is actually a lot here. And uh, this is, it's a cool way for them to experiment. Like of all the things that could have been 10.2.6, this is very, very exciting compared to, you know, oh, there's a new quest chain. And also a new time rift event, right? Like, uh, you know, this is this is like night and day compared to that. This is this is sweet. Um, the other line of criticism I've seen that I think is also valid, but is much less likely to be a real issue, is the the limited time nature of this. Um, I think it makes sense for them to release this with a limited time horizon on it at first, because. If it is poorly received, you don't want to have just been like, yep, yeah, this is the new big thing. This is what WoW is now. And everybody zones in and is like, well, this kind of sucks. And you're like, ah. And then you have to kind of like awkwardly sunset it or uh, kind of let it slowly fade into maintenance mode or whatever. Um, so instead, if you announce it with a limited time frame, if it's badly received or medium received, you can just be like, cool, that was a fun experiment. Let's go back to WoW, right? Um, but if it is really well received, which I think there's a decent chance. I think everybody looking at this you know, there's there's a wide range of outcomes here, and certainly one of them, uh, we may disagree about what the percent chance is, but there's certainly a chance that this is, you know, the new new hotness, right? This thing is, like, sweet and really fun, and, and everybody wants to keep playing it. Uh, in which case, there's no reason they can't do that, right? Like, they're, they haven't promised that they're never bringing it back, and it, towards the end of the WoW cast, they were basically like, look, we are going to... Like, tell us what you want from this. Tell us, tell us if you want more of this, and... Uh, I think that there's certainly a universe where, you know, if this does really well, um, it could be either kept around or even added as a sort of evergreen thing that gets updates and uh, becomes part of the core ecosystem of WoW potentially if it does really well. So uh, I wouldn't be too worried about the limited time nature of this. If your concern is like, oh, it's going to be too fun and then it's going to go away, the more fun it is, the less likely it is to go away. Um, anyways, that is my quick look and takes about the Plunderstorm. Uh, I'm going to make another video very shortly about the Season 4 news, which is also coming with patch 10.2.6 down the line a little bit. So it'll be in the 10.2.6 patch. There's, it, it will be before 10.2.7, but not right away. So, um, But there is a lot of patch notes and stuff for it too, which I will cover in that next video. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.